So this is a continuation of what we were already doing um, in our last lesson. Um, so hammer on, slap, ghost notes, stuff like that. Uh, I'm also going to be going over uh, some double hit stuff and some double uh, pluck stuff in this lesson, but just very basic concept. Uh, we're going to be doing it very slowly. So we'll start off here with a metronome. You want it nice and slowly here. So we were doing the first hit as a hammer on. So it goes two, three, four. Hammer on to a ghost now. Ghost tom now. To a ghost pluck now. Doing it this slow is for a reason. I know you can do it faster than this. If you really zone in, you'll be able to hear your muting technique when it's this slow. So you'll know if the if the muting isn't working properly because you'll hear all the overtones and stuff like that. I'm gonna boost my mids and stuff just so you can hear how bad the overtones can get if you don't play correctly. properly you're still getting a ton of ringing in the other strings so with correct technique well I was still kind of doing the harmonic there spread out a little bit more Okay, so doing that that slowly there, we can really hear our muting technique now. So if you think that your muting is still kind of a little bit off, practice it at this tempo, just rewind the video and just keep doing it until you eventually can get your, your muting in control there. The main muting is going to be coming from kind of these fingers here. Uh, your pinky does play a lot of role in the mutant as well, but the middle and the ring finger are going to be doing most of the work here. Uh, that's why you have to have them spread out as well, because if you just have it like this stacked on top of each other a little bit, you're only really going to be muting with one finger, and that's going to cause a ton of harmonic overtones, like that there. So you don't want that at all. So make sure that they're just nice and spread out. Now, so we're going to do this a little bit faster now. Okay. So at this speed now, we're going to start getting a little bit flashy, all right? First, we'll get the bases down.
and this is where we start thinking of our flashy octaves and stuff like that. So as I already said to you, uh, you said you were having a little bit of trouble doing from octaves because of the fact that that note is in there, the dead note. And there's ways around this. You can either not include that dead note when it's coming up to the octave and instead do two tongue hits. Or you can do a double pluck like that. The double pluck is a lot trickier to do, but I recommend that you alternate between them because there's going to be instances where you're doing a double hit like that and when you're doing a double pluck. Uh, like, that's what you want to be able to essentially do really fast. Like that. So, we're going to alternate here, all right? So, one, two, three, four. Just do the octave on the fourth one each time, all right? Okay, so now we're going to do it octave on each bar. So Watch out for your mutant. Remember what I said about plucking? Don't have your finger away too far. Make it easier for yourself, have them curled in a little bit. Okay, I want you to stop. Now, so I'm going to keep the metronome at the same speed that it is now, but I'm going to focus more on a double time here. So I'm going to be going like that. And I'm also going to be switching between, like I did before, a double thing and double plug. One, two, three, four. that's what we're working towards here right so just practice at the slower tempos like that like we were doing and if you need to bring the metronome up just a tiny bit so that you're practicing that to get to around that speed there that's a nice steady speed uh, we can go faster than that but I just think it's that's a long way away even that's a little bit away you'll have to be practicing this for a while to be able to do that that's big. 